morning. morning. I'm Madison Clemens. And I'm Nandini Patel. Welcome to the FHSCCA Morning Show. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please pause for a moment of silence. Any students 16 and older who are interested in donating blood, listen up. If you're not 17 yet, you need a permission slip signed by a parent prior to the day of. Juniors and seniors, there is an email from Ms. Fairbrow regarding any other details for the blood drive in your inbox. There's also an ongoing Krispy Kreme donut fundraiser for the Monitor Enrichment Program. $10 for glazed donuts, $12 for chocolate, and they're also selling certificates. The money is due September 25th and the donuts will be delivered on October 12th. The sign-up sheet is in the front office. The band is starting an apparel fundraiser. Please see any band student or the front office to purchase some amazing apparel to support our band. This is an announcement for the students who received an invitation to join Beta Club. If you want to learn more about Beta Club, its missions, and what it can do for you, come to Dr. G's classroom at 738. This Friday during hurricane time, if you decided to join, please pay memberships due to Miss Loki in the Media Center. The deadlines for payments are October 1st. Coming out of a bye week, our Purple Hurricanes football team will play Brooks County Trojans tonight. Good luck to our boys. Today for lunch, the Canes Cafe will be serving cheeseburger casserole, Roman salad with dressing, Mexican-style corn, pickle spears, fruit, and juice. Let's see what Ashton's got drawn up for us.
Hey, I'm here with some of Ms. Faribault's community service helpers and Ms. Faribault herself. Um, as we know, our school is hosting a blood drive on September 17th, so they're here to tell you a little bit more about that. Okay, you have to be at least 16 to donate. Um, if you're 17 and older by the time of the blood drive, you do not need a parent's consent, but you will need an ID. If you forget your ID, we can print it out on Infinite Campus, so don't worry about that too much. If there's no more spots when you log on to the One Blood, let me hold this. <clears throat> there's a link down at the bottom with a sponsor code, and if you log on and there's no more appointment times, don't fret. All you have to do is see Jeffrey. He's in the snack shack. He will write you down for us to um, call, be at will and on call. Um, also, um, you will receive food afterwards, so don't worry if you come during your third block because you will have something to eat. You will have to wait 15 minutes after you donate. So if you have um, an appointment time during an important class, you might want to get that changed because you will have to sit there. You cannot leave. You have to wait the 15 minutes. We do not care what class you're in after you donate. You will have to sit there for those 15 minutes. It takes about an hour to donate blood and make sure you eat plenty of food and drink lots of water before you donate. There's a minimum weight, 106 pounds, and if you weigh less than that, you can't donate, but you can still show up and like, this is still counts as an attempt to donate blood. Um, one thing that I will add is if you feel like you're underweight or you have like an iron problem, like your iron's too low, you can still show up and try to donate, you will still get credit for it, and you can still get a cord if you donate enough times. That's right. Mm -hmm. We'd love to have you because the blood does stay locally. Um, it doesn't go out of our community, and every pint of blood does count. Second thing that's, that's really important and that a lot of the students like is finding out what their blood type is. This is one easy way to find out what your blood type is without having to go to the hospital. You will get notification within about seven days and um, you'll know what your blood type is. I just thought about this. I will add, if you look at the posters that are hanging up around the hall or one like right here, you will get prizes for donating. For example, you can get some socks and refreshments as we said earlier. And you get to know like your um, like blood pressure and stuff like that. Thank you, Miss Fairbo and Aubriana Jaden and Jacoby. We hope to see you at the blood drive on September 17th. Hi, welcome to your history snaps of the week. Today's fact is that Theodore Teddy Roosevelt, the 26th president of the United States, was not only the youngest president of 42 when he assumed office following the assassination of the previous president, he was also a very prolific writer, having written a, 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 wide, a large amount of books over a wide array of topics. Writing was the only way he could actually make money uh, following his presidency due to the fact that he had lost all of his wealth in the Dakota Territory. Thanks for tuning in. For the intro, I mean, you're looking. You're dressed like a father today. I mean, go I dogs. Got my dogs on. Let's go. I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready to be number one today. You rock paper scissors to lead this thing on. I'll let you go. Lead yeah, yeah, first. Yeah, yeah, you gotta have your mic on. Yeah. Where am I putting this? Just, uh, yeah, you get yeah, right there. Right there. Yeah. Yep. Can I get a little help here? I can't get this. <laughs> oh, there we go. Losers first. Don't worry. You're gonna let me read first. Yeah, hey, why don't you go first? Are you ready? Because when I get done, I'm going to walk out of here. I'm going to mic drop on you and walk out of here. That's what you think. Here we go. <clears throat> Where does a sheep go to get a haircut? The barber shop. Why are piggy banks so wise? Don't know. They're filled with common sense. What do you call birds that stick together? Velcros. <clears throat> <clears throat> what did the ocean say to the beach? What? Nothing, it just waved. That was okay. <clears throat> what runs but never gets tired? Mm. Water? Is that a dad joke? <laughs> That's a Casey Cross joke. Um, 
What kind of car does an egg drive? A Yoke's wagon. What kind of shoes do ninjas wear? Mm -hmm. Sneakers. <laughs> what invention allows us to see through walls? Windows. <laughs> Why do cows wear bells? Because mm -hmm. their horns don't work. Did you hear about the man that cut off his left leg? He's all right now. <laughs> what do you call a dog magician? Mm -hmm. A labracadabrador. <laughs> Why do nurses like red crayons? Sometimes they have to draw blood. <clears throat> what did the buffalo say to his son when he left for college? I don't know. Bye, son. I saw that one yesterday. What you, know, you, what you doing there? I can tolerate algebra, maybe even a little calculus, but geometry is where I draw the line. Why do bakers work so hard? Because they need to. Uh... Pretty good. Why are most people tired on April 1st? Mm -hmm. They've just finished a 31 day march. Why did the pony ask for a glass of water? He was a little horse. Not bad. Why did I break up with my math teacher girlfriend? Mm -hmm. She was obsessed with her ex. <laughs> so my golf cart broke the other day, it wouldn't choke. So I just stuck an Auburn sticker on the side of it, now it chokes every time. <laughs> Not gonna get a laugh out of me on that one. <clears throat> How do you make a tissue dance? Put a little boogie in it. <laughs> How does the moon cut its hair? Cut its hair. Eclipse it. Quality. That's the last one I've got. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's all I've got too. One more. What does a ghost call its poop? Boo-boo. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> What did Michael Jackson name his jean store? Billy Jeans. <laughs> Why can't a leopard hide? Because he's always spotted. <laughs> this is so hard. What do you call a fake noodle? What? Impasta. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, that's exhausting. It's extremely hard. I mean, me and this guy get together and laugh a good bit, so sitting here yeah. trying not to is tough. I mean, I thought the Auburn joke was a classic. You know, you know, he wants to laugh about it later. I know he's going to laugh about it later. At a certain point, it's just wrong. Why? Because. Because it's true. It's true. Because <laughs> it's true. He, he, Dogs on top. The art of a dad joke is for it to be... Canes by 50. Not Dogs on top. True. Right? Canes by 50. Canes by 50. Dogs on top. You make sure you keep that on there. <laughs> Those were some funny jokes. That's all we have for you today. Happy Friday. Go, Go Canes. Canes. If you're 17, 